We had no idea how eye-opening our trip to Conchantabury was going to be. It was shameful to learn that our most peaceful giants everywhere are fighting to survive. And not only against extinction, but from the hands of the human race. We learned quite quickly about the methods used by all trainers everywhere, just so we can sit on their backs or watch them parade around for kicks. Elephant Haven used to be a riding camp for tourists, but now it's a sanctuary. The elephants there have new jobs now, just to be elephants. And it's our job as their stewards to continue to protect them. I mean, it's pretty simple. Now we've gotten ahead of ourselves. Let's go back to the start. We had to get across Thailand in a day because we found Elephant Haven online and something told us in our hearts. We had to go. So we're leaving Cocoon now and we're feeling extremely sad like we always do when we leave awesome, good energy places. Um, But we're on to our next trip, which is a full day of travel. And then we're going to an interesting place. I'm going to get it wrong. Conchinaburi. That's probably wrong. Um, Where we're going to visit some elephants, an elephant sanctuary, which is going to be, I'm pretty sure, an amazing experience. But uh, right now, it's time to say bye. There are two types of elephant species found on the planet. The genus Loxodonta from Africa, and the ones we were heading to experience, the elephant Maximus, which are found in Asia. Both elephant species share the same heartbreaking story, one created by the impact of our massive human footprint, poachers and sport hunters. All of which have aggressively placed both elephant types on the endangered species list, soon to be disappeared forever. Over the passing of the last century, the entire Elephant Maximus population is estimated to have plummeted from 400,000 to only 30,000. That's a mere 7.5% left. And now, here in Thailand, where they've been revered for generations as the national animal, only 3,000 remain. So we just got into the gate, and they have a vegan buffet for us. You can't travel and be vegan in Thailand. It's like a Christmas present. I mean, the Thai desserts isn't really my thing. Look at that mountain of dessert. You're like the Thai dessert king. Equally as sad as this tumble towards extinction is the extremely large percentage of our planet's surviving elephants who currently live or are being born into a captivity that subjects them to our darkened lifespan of human exploitation. And what makes this idea more uncomfortable to us is the realization that their sacrifice is for the sake of entertainment and tourists. For the people like us who usually try our best to never admit that we just don't know any better. But we, we were about to learn. Made it to Bangkok? And I almost puked because I had weird sticky rice. So now we're gonna go and find a rail link to connect us to a sky train. To Tapaya Thai. So we're on a mini bus. Heading over to Trying to read 1984. Just want to get there already. With my hand going uh, the whole time. I think in an hour and a half I've read 30 pages. It's good though. Hello everyone, my name is Kun. Yeah, I am welcome here, Elephant Haven, Thailand. We are a partnership with Elephant Nature Park in Chiang Mai. Here, Elephant Haven, Thailand used to be the trekking camp for elephant riding, elephant shows, and used the bull hooks to control the elephant. But now we know hooks 
no show, no riding anymore. We just give them the love. Thank you so much for your coming. You can be the voice of the elephants and the voice of the animals in the world. You can change the world. It's in your hands. Good morning. So we had a wonderful sleep and now we are waiting to get picked up to go to the elephant sanctuary. Elephants that are finally rescued from years of labor and get to live out life like they should. Can't wait to see them. We didn't know what to expect. Nothing could have prepared us to meet such beautiful creatures. Or for the energy of such a wonderful place. With such dedicated and compassionate people. Uh, welcome, I'm Sunny. Uh, I'm a tour guide here at Elephant Heaven. Our elephant is lovely and friendly to uh, our guests to visit, uh, to see the elephant cons conservative. My name is King. Um, I work for um, Elephant Niche Park. And Elephant Niche Park is the uh, first uh, sanctuary to rescue uh, elephants from uh, 1995. We learn that elephants have roughly the same lifespan as humans, and that like humans, they form lifelong relationships with each other and with us. That their heightened intelligence is woven through their awareness of self, each other, and their experiences, all of which contribute to the creation of their wide variety of deep and sentient Tom emotion. Yeah. Tom Kun is the oldest one. Yeah, she's around 55 years old. Yeah. We call her the slowly one. She eats slowly, walks slowly. Uh, this one is the biggest one and the most beautiful. Yeah. Kim Jai. Kim Jai is the impression. And it's their ability to learn, imagine, create, and even communicate through their own unique language that makes the line that separates us from them and them from us extremely thin. And when you look with your heart, their eyes seem to tell a story. One that whispered about their dark history which began the moment that people figured out how to hold dominion over them. And uh, right now, uh, we have about 67 elephants rescued. And most of them uh, rescued from the trekking company and the circuit, some from uh, street baking, and some with a uh, broken leg, and uh, some with uh, blind eye from the people that are built so much. And this one is Lam Yai. Yeah. She's blind on her right side, and she has a broken. Yeah, on the right here. Yeah, and this one is uh, Bunmi. Yeah, Bunmi is the old one, but she is healthy. Yeah, because she is uh, like to do the exercise. Yeah, walk. She likes to walk. This one. But even though elephants may never forget, it truly is their forgiveness which is their gift to us. Because it can make us stronger and gives us the chance to be better than we were yesterday to them and to all the others. And at Elephant Haven and sanctuaries like it around the world, the good people there have created a starting point for us, for a new relationship, one that's built on the respect that's deserved that can be shown as a blueprint to anyone brave enough to look. A new relationship between ourselves and all creatures alive and being born, which can be carried across our planet like a banner, 
and passed on to our children and theirs. And right now, they are giving us this chance. But we have to look with our hearts. If you come to uh, Thailand and you should come to visit the Elephant Niche Park, it's a beautiful place for animal rescue, even dog and cat and water buffalo. And there are many kinds of the animal that's rescued to freedom. Get freedom. And in the end, it all seemed like a dream. Beautiful, yet unsettling. Magical, yet heartbreaking. Because it became quite clear that there's still a mountain to climb. An elephant sanctuary, an elephant nature park, well, they're just the base of that mountain. The beginning. They desperately need our help. Because there's so many places where animals' freedom is stolen by human hands. And it needs to be talked about. So what can you do? Well, we can speak our minds whenever anyone will listen. We can talk to our friends and our families. Or you can find it in your heart to give up a simple $5 spend right now. A coffee, a bag of chips, a movie ticket, some makeup, whatever. You can click the link and just donate that money instead. It's really nothing to you or me, but it's everything to the people at Elephant Haven. It's their real life. They live it every single day. Or you could just share this video or anything like it. Because just like us before we left, there's so many people that just have no idea. And we all have to keep believing that it's possible. And we all have to keep believing. That one simple gesture into the internet unknown, it could be the one that causes a ripple, an endless echo. An endless echo that inspires the next and the next and the next and the next and before anyone knows how to trace it back the change could be upon us because in the end it's just about communication and after all well we are all connected Very good. How do you do You can be the voice of the elephants and the voice of the animals in the world. You can change the world. It's in your hands. Okay, okay, go, 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 okay, okay. okay.
Okay. See you later, Aragida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is goodbye, buddy. I didn't say bye to my puppies. Ah. Ah.